A kid was mad about a foul and he threw the ball at the other kid from the other team that fouled him and then got in his face. He got attacked. Yeah. Like you're going to get fouled. It's a, it's a contact sport, blah, blah, blah. But so he was like in, in sort of a cave on, on the bench. This kid has potential to play at the next level. And I, I saw that. I knew what to say. I walked up to him. And I'm like, hey, man, look, you know, you know, sports is mostly mental, right? And he, he knew he knew that much. I'm like, listen, you know, this game doesn't matter in the whole scheme of things, really. It's like if you can put what just happened behind you in this game where it doesn't matter, it's practice. Just think how much better you're going to be when it does count. Nice. A ton. Nice. Love that. These are the kind of things that to me, positive recovery spirituality, love for the human race, make a difference. Because that kid could have not changed the course of not only that game, but his whole career. And I've seen that over and over again. Coaches have so much influence. Counselors have so much influence. Sponsors have so much influence on people. And it's how we react to the situation. We could have all the training in the world, but it's in the moment, what happens, between two human beings, two hearts, and how we communicate that as a leader and as a mentor. And I think that's the, the key about what we do at Positive Recovery.